in every tongue shall confess that you are Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes. Give your name praise. Give your name glory. God, as we go into our service, let your glory fall in this place. Powerful. Spirit of the living God, fall fresh on us. Fill us up tonight. Fill us up tonight. Fill us up tonight. Fill, fill us up, God. I just need somebody to say, fill me up, God. Fill me up, whatever I need. Fill me up, God. Fill me up, fill me up God. Yes, Lord, fill me up, God. Fill, fill me up, God. Hallelujah. Fill me up, God. Fill me up, God. Just lift your hands all over the building. Hallelujah. I just need a towel. I'll be all right. Fear me up, God. Lift your hands all over the building. Yes, God. Lift your hands all over the building. Pray, my people. Hallelujah. 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 God, we thank you. We praise you. We give your name glory. Thank you. Give your name honor. Now, if you believe it, come on, clap your hands and give God praise. Hallelujah. Thank God for everybody that's coming here tonight. We welcome to Evolution Empowerment. And we are so thankful for what the Lord is doing. And we give God praise for all the hallelujah that he is going to do on tonight. Is there anybody came on a Monday night expecting a miracle? Look at somebody and say, neighbor, I really don't know what you come to do. But I'm not going to come to church on a Monday night and not get what God has for me. Yeah, yeah. That's the wrong neighbor. Just look at your other neighbor and say, oh, neighbor. I'm not going to come on a Monday night. I could be asleep. I could be at home. But I come to give a glory. Come on here. And we come to give a praise. If you believe it, come on. Open your mouth and give a glory. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Then look at somebody and say, Miracle signs and wonders is here. We can. Ah, yes! Yes. Say, Miracle signs and wonders are here. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Just tell them before I get back home, things I've been praying for, He's about to answer them for me. Just by my prayers. Yes! Say to shout, yes! I said the promise of God, I'm, yes and amen! Yes! Yes, Lord. We give God praise and we're excited to be here. Hallelujah. I tell you, at any moment, praise is always in order. Hallelujah. We thank the Hallelujah. For he has kept me from all evil. And my mind. 
This weekend it's a little personal. This, this praise that I got is a little personal. All right, that's enough.
Come on, clap your hands. Come on. Come on, clap your hands. Look, we got the end after this right here. Hallelujah. You'll show some sign. Hallelujah. Your hands will go up. They'll try to quiet you. You get loud. But somebody tell them after all I've been through, I still have my joy. Just tell them you don't know like I know what the Lord has done for me. I got a lot of praises over on this side. I 
I wonder if I have anybody on this side that all right. Come on, y'all. Let's give the Lord a hand up. 
pray for a few seconds. Uh, we gotta let them outside here yeah, that this is what the party is. Go ahead, sir. Go ahead, sir. Oh, that man would praise the Lord for his goodness and his wonderful works toward the children of men. My God, I wish somebody's soul would catch on fire and burn. Oh, all right. What's wrong with you? My God. Hasn't he been good? Hasn't he brought you out? Uh, my soul. My soul. Don't magnify the Lord. and sit yourself down by God as there's a praise on the inside that I just can't keep to myself y'all sit down because I know there's some apostolic Pentecostal tongue talking folk in here y'all sit hallelujah but if you could just remember how the Lord brought you out just this year alone glory to God Hallelujah. If, you, if you've been near death, you ought, to, you ought to just jump up and give God a hallelujah. I've been to Edel Pierre. I've been near death. Through many dangers, crows and snakes, I have already come. And I'm here to testify that the Lord brought me through everything. Overseer through many dangers. Glory to God. I'm your cheerleader for tonight. Ah, glory to God. I reminded Apostle Whitlow, they used to tell us in our day, if you've been through what I've been through, you'd be up here shouting too and then somebody had the nerve to go in the corner and say I got a right to praise it hey. Uh, 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 uh. Hey, hey hey I got a few hey hey, hey. You, and listen you gotta make the atmosphere conducive for what you need hey go 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 command my soul to bless the Lord. Soul, soul, bless the Lord. Hands, hands. Look up for the Lord. I'm 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 the Lord. I want you to do this last thing and then we're going to move on. Ah, glory. I just want you to nudge somebody and say, neighbor, you do know you're in the miracle zone. Maybe you didn't hear me. I said, neighbor, you do know you're in the miracle zone. Something good. First prophetic word tonight is just because you made it in the door. Hallelujah. The miracle that we need. Some of us are one praise away from it. <laughs> Lord, hey, glory. I, I won't stop nothing. I don't argue with praise. Hallelujah. Know what you've been through to get it up. We don't argue with praise. Ah, no. Well, well,
Jesus Christ. Amen. We do praise God. Honor the Lord for the singer and overseeing pastor. Amen. Hallelujah. Touch somebody and tell them, trust him, trust him, trust him. Hallelujah. <laughs> Y'all go ahead, musicians. I'm telling you. Hallelujah. Amen. We praise God for Overseer Vondrell Johnson, a man who is sitting to my right, the pastor and founder of the Evolution Empowerment Ministries. Amen. We praise God for him. Amen. To Prophetess Johnson, praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord, the ministerial staff here. Amen. God bless Elder Pierre Whitlow. Amen. Praise the Lord. The the maestro of music himself hallelujah amen and we praise god amen apostle patricia mcneil is coming in god bless her amen and certainly amen thank god too my lovely wife praise the lord god bless you we thank god for you more saints coming in i love it amen and to all of god's people certainly to the speaker of the hour Apostle Key and Whitlow. Amen. Wonderful man of God. Go back to 30 years at least with him. Praise the Lord and his family. Amen. And we honor the Lord for him. Back of the Greater Power Center and all of those, <laughs> all of those amen days. And certainly Apostle Pastor Latoya Richardson is here. God bless her. Amen. Come on, let's do better than that. We honor you, praise God. God bless all of you in your respective places. It is offering time. Hallelujah. Wow. Hey, Amen. We a little tight already, Elder? It's offering time. Hallelujah. The Bible declares as long as the earth remains, seed time and harvest shall be. Amen. It will always be. And we do have several ways of giving tonight, and we want you to be aware of them. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. One of the ways and the most, amen, convenient ways is through, amen, cash app. Praise the Lord. If you have your phones with you, which I'm sure 93% of us do, amen, praise the Lord. You can go to cash app. You can type in the dollar sign, Evolution Empowerment, and you will see it on the screens very shortly so that you'll be able to use Cash App, praise the Lord, as a way of giving. We also, of course, have the ability to swipe, amen, by way of square, praise God. So if you have your card and you would like to give to the glory of God, amen, you can do it that way. 
And of course there is the classic way where cash is still king unless said otherwise. Amen. And we have a bucket for you. One of the wonderful, the princess of the house. Amen. Praise God is standing. Amen. And she will be able and willing to take, amen, your offering. Praise the Lord. And we're getting those, those ways of giving underway. We're asking, amen, each of you, if you will, praise the Lord. Amen. Help us starting up with the $20 seed. Hallelujah. Amen. But to be honest with you, we're living in the day and time where you can spend that on yourself going to get something to eat. When there was a time you could get a 29 cent hamburger, but now you're going to pay $7.99 alone before tax. Hallelujah. But we are asking because the body of Christ, we have a goal. Amen. That goal is to be a blessing to the household of faith. Amen. The overseer often says, you have to be first partaker and we are doing that on tonight amen princess london god bless you baby all right praise the lord again money sign evolution empowerment if you need amen assistance trying to spell that or need that please come to the front we will gladly help you amen praise the lord if you have your seed in your hand whether it's by phone or offering will you stand to your feet at this time somebody gonna give tonight can you stand to your feet if you have it by way of phone or by cash or by card hallelujah amen. praise the lord amen praise god hallelujah if you have a mind to give and you cannot please stand to your feet as well if you do need to swipe or cash out, Elder Harris, amen, who is standing to my right, praise the Lord, amen. Elder Harris will be able to assist you on this evening. He is to my right, amen. God bless him, amen. With uplifted hands, if you will repeat this after me, money cometh to the body of Christ, and some money is coming to me. I'll never be broke another day in my life the spirit of poverty the spirit of lack has no control no power and no authority over me I sow this seed in Jesus name and I'm expecting a return amen please come amen if you have your seed by way of cash you can come to the bucket Amen. Praise God. If you have card or cash app, please see Elder Harris. We'll assist you. Hallelujah. service and that is the administration of the word of God the written word of God amen praise God and I say it often the Bible declares man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that proceed 
out of the mouth of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. And the servant of the Lord that is coming. Amen. Praise God. He is a wonderful man of God. Amen. A man that can preach the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. He can dissect it. Amen. And, and praise the Lord. He was for many years my sister's favorite preacher. He would come and run revival for us. Amen. Probably about twice a year down through the years. Amen. Praise the Lord. Have the pleasure of fellowshipping. Amen. Over the last 30 or so years, his wonderful parents, amen, the late Bishop Bernard Whitlow, amen, and the living legend, Pastor Diane Whitlow, very much alive, hallelujah, amen, praise God, who are wonderful people of the Lord, amen, in my hometown, Hampton, Virginia, so we thank God for them, but after the choir has been instructed to sing to the glory of God, the voice you will hear will be that of, amen, the apostolic, amen, architect himself of the word of God the apostle Kean Whitlow will receive him by standing to our feet after the choir has sung in reference of the Holy Ghost that is inside of him. Sing choir, preach preacher. God bless you. Let's give the Lord praise all over this house tonight. Come on, if you can rest on your feet just one more time. I know we've been standing and sitting, but I want you to just rest one more time. And I want you to give God praise for the greatest thing that ever happened to you. I said I want you to give God praise for the greatest thing that ever happened to you. Come on, can we give God praise tonight? Come on, can we give him praise tonight? Can we give him glory tonight? Come on worthy of all the glory. I'm so glad to be here tonight. I don't know about you, but I'm excited to hear the word of the Lord from my apostle on tonight. I said I'm excited to hear the word of the Lord from my apostle on tonight. So we won't, we won't belabor you long. But all my choir members say we're going to put together, call around. All right. Amen. Any of my additional choir members, come on in. Apostle texted me and said he wanted to hear some of this. What a for me However things turn out E flat major to be Oh listen as long as your I, I know, wish I had a voice, that things will work out oh, for me. Come on, quiet. Lift your voice, real strong, and say, whatever. Come on, whatever. What? Hey! 
on your feet hallelujah as long as you're in control I know things will work out for me come on put those hands together give him praise come on open your mouth and say something to your God tonight Come on and give him glory in this house. I need somebody. Come on here to help shift the atmosphere. Ah, oh, come on, open your mouth. I need it out of your belly tonight. Come on and open your mouth. Somebody scream tonight. Hey, oh Lord. Have mercy on us tonight, Jesus. Ah, do it and you'll get the glory. And we bless him tonight. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. We do give honor to Jesus. Amen. Tonight, won't you celebrate Jesus? Amen. Hallelujah. I don't know what happened to you. Won't you celebrate Jesus? Listen, if I don't get but two to help me tonight, I'm coming through here. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We give honor tonight to the angel of this house. The man that God has anointed and pointed for such a time as this to stand on the wall to declare to men and women everywhere that there is a Savior that heals, delivers, and set free. Overseer of Trail Johnson. Come on, somebody, give it up for the man of God tonight. Glory be to God. Hallelujah to our expediter tonight, Doctor. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Overseer. Amen. We tonight. Amen. And his lovely wife. Come on, somebody. Amen. We thank God for Apostle McNeil. We was with her on yesterday morning. Glory be to God. Amen. We thank God for our assistant pastor and overseer tonight. Overseer Tayshawn Cornergate tonight. Amen. To our presiding elder, Elder T.J. Etheridge. Amen. Elder Brandon. Amen. Amen. Our editor and elder tonight, Elder Pennell. 
and Lady Pernell to all, amen, all of our elders, ministers, saints of God, amen, Elder McGee, we thank God for you, amen, hallelujah, we just glad to be here for this woman of God, amen, apostle, God bless you, amen, glory be to God, and we thank God for you, amen, I don't know, I didn't know who you was when you walked to the door, amen, through the door, but God start talking to me concerning you, amen, but we thank God tonight, hallelujah, glory be to God, all I want you to know right now is things are getting ready to shift, amen, for you. Amen, because people have judged and sized you up. I don't know you. Amen, hallelujah, to be, amen, what they want you to be in their mind. Amen, but God has a plan. Hallelujah, the plan of God shall be revealed. Amen, and it won't be long. Somebody tell God, thank you, because things are turning around for you. Somebody just shout hallelujah. Won't you just turn around one quick time? Amen, glory be to God, because everything you need to do what you got to do. Amen, when you turn around, God just untied it and unwound it and it's getting ready to happen i wish i had somebody amen come on here i don't know where encounter center yet tonight hallelujah i need somebody to talk to me glory to god hallelujah hallelujah y'all sit down for a minute we get ready to preach amen and amen the David told us amen the leader say said now pastor amen don't preach too hard don't do too much amen your body tired amen we was in hampton uh, friday night amen and saturday amen amen preaching friday night and i taught a seminar on saturday amen then yesterday morning our service is at 3 45 in the afternoon amen thank god for the greatest church in the world the encounter center 715 holland road danville virginia glory be to god hollywood the spirit of the lord is moving and it cannot be explained only experienced amen and we was with apostle mcneil yesterday morning preaching amen at a convocation amen then we had our service amen on yesterday evening amen and we're here tonight amen hallelujah we don't count it slack amen we're here tonight come on somebody amen hallelujah whatever i got left i'm giving everything i got y'all are gonna talk back to me amen because i come to understand when you give god all you got he'll give you all you need thank god bishop of lions walking in glory be to god hallelujah my brother i thank god for you amen tonight hallelujah glory i just feel something stirring in the atmosphere thank god for elder whitlow amen my brother amen tonight amen thank god for the great choir amen and amen the praise team y'all just worship and took me on in amen i was satisfied amen and could have went on home after y'all because amen the glory was on you amen but we thank god tonight amen we hear on the sign that amen we're gonna do what the lord said in the word of the lord saint john the ninth chapter and i promise i'm not gonna be long amen but i'm gonna be strong tonight is that all right i just feel a little preached tonight <laughs> Hallelujah. Somebody say, well, just preach a little. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Ah, and the word of the Lord, St. John, the ninth chapter, the very familiar passage of scripture, if you get it. Amen. Stub your feet in reference to the word of God as we read the word of God, the first nine verses. Amen. And I'm taking a text. Amen. Ah, oh, the ninth chapter. Amen, Sister Shelley. Amen. And just nine verses. Hallelujah. Glory be to God tonight. Amen. St. John, the ninth chapter. And the first one. And as Jesus passed by, he saw a man that was blind from his birth. His disciples asked him, saying, Master, who did sin, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? That he was born blind. That he was born blind. And Jesus answered, Neither have this man sinned, nor his parents, but that the works of God should be made manifest in him. I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day. The night cometh when no man can work. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. When he had thus spoken, he spat on the ground, made clay of the spittle, and he anointed the eyes of the blind man with the clay, said unto him, Go wash in the pool of Siloam, which is in my interpretation sent. He went his way therefore and washed and came, seeing he went his way therefore and washed and came. He went and washed and came, seeing uh, the neighbors therefore and they uh, that before had seen him that he was blind said, Is not this he that sat and begged? Some said, This is he. Others said, He is like him. But he said, I am he. Look at your neighbor tonight. I'm taking a text. Amen. From these last two verses. Amen. Look at somebody and say, Hang up and call me back. I got a bad connection. 
and look at somebody else on the other side of you and say other neighbor hang up and call me back because i got a bad connection go ahead and take your seats in jesus name and we bless him amen glory be to god and we have to amen understand now that we are living in an hour where people don't want god uh they love church but they don't love god they love good preaching amen if they stay for the preaching y'all are gonna help me amen they like good music come on somebody amen if we keep the musicians motivated y'all are gonna help me amen they like good singing amen everybody likes to shout amen but i watch folk that shout a whole lot when it's given time amen because we come from an area where you didn't shout on credit come on somebody amen after all that dancing gyrating sweating and holding up the service you ought to have something to give other than just a praise y'all ain't gonna talk about timmy but we have in our minds to think amen that we are in close proximity of relationship with God because of the ability that we have physically amen but spiritually we have detached ourselves from the very plan will and design of God I need to know tonight is there anybody that's still happy and glad and get excited and shout amen off of being saved sanctified and filled with the Holy Ghost I know you want a new car and i know you want a new house and i know you want a new wife amen and i know you want a new husband come on here because the last seven won't good enough y'all are gonna help me in here amen but i need to know tonight if there's somebody that really wants god from the very confounds of your spirit amen if he never does anything else for you amen if he never give you another dime amen but he give you key and access to the kingdom of god it will make all the difference in the world somebody shout hallelujah oh, and you got to be careful now oh, because even when I was coming up and I'm going to preach in a minute I'm just getting warmed up a few minutes come on here amen when we was coming up amen in, uh, in my time I was born in the 70s amen not to tell my age come on somebody amen but I'm, I'm doing good for 47 come on here amen because I'm breathing and walking by myself without the assistance of anybody or anything y'all are gonna help me amen but i remember when i was a child amen things are a whole lot different now than they were then ah we didn't have cell phones amen in 74 when i was born y'all are gonna help me amen we didn't have as a matter of fact when cell phones came out amen i was the first one amen that i knew who had one y'all are gonna talk back to me in here and i'm calling folk on their house phone from my cell phone but they charging me five dollars a minute amen the call y'all ain't gonna help me in here these are the transitional changes of time ah, but even many years ago they didn't have before they had telephones amen they had carrier services amen where folk would get a message through amen so it didn't matter how the message got there amen many times it got there late but it got there y'all ain't gonna help me but now we have instant messaging Y'all are going to say nothing in here. Amen. You don't believe me. Look at your neighbor. They probably on their phone now. Come on, somebody. Sitting in the holy house of God. Y'all are going to talk back to me. Ah, I just got you to get off. Come on here. Amen. But we understand. Even then, I remember as a little boy, we had to go to the mall to get phone service because the store was in the mall. Come on here. We had Bell Atlantic. Amen. And when you went to Bell Atlantic to get a phone, amen, for your house, you couldn't go to Walmart to buy a phone because they didn't have Walmart and if they had it they won't sell in phones you had to lease the phone from the phone company y'all are gonna help me in here and somewhere along the way we got excited because we had a telephone they had odd colors for the phones they came in yellow and puke green y'all are gonna talk that to me that's how they was they didn't have push button but they had rotary dials I'm going somewhere tonight hello in here Zion amen but these are showing the transition of that time to this time oh but when we had the phones and then we did we thought we was rich when we got a cordless phone in the house 
Y'all ain't gonna help me. Cause we messed up a whole lot of phones. Dragging that cord. From the living room through the kitchen. All the way back around through the dining room. And the den. And every now and then because you stretched the cord so much. It got bad wires in it. And it caused interference. That when you made a phone call. Sometimes you had to hold the cord. Or go get on another phone. Because their reception was bad. Y'all ain't going to help me in here. Sometimes while talking on the phone, you didn't know whether it was your phone or the one you was talking to phone that really had the problem. Y'all ain't saying that in here. Oh, y'all remember what I'm talking about. Don't leave me out here by myself like I'm the only one. Y'all ain't saying that. Come on, somebody. Amen. But then we understood then. Amen. That we had a bad wire. We had to go get a new wire. We had to go get a new cord. Got the one from the phone that went from the phone to the receiver amen was a curled cord but the one that went from the phone to the wall was a straight cord and you had to plug it in the jack y'all ain't saying nothing ah, see some of you done got unplugged that's why you jacked up now somebody say glory to God when they plugged it in the jack amen trying to get a good connection and every now and then when you would get on the phone there would be static in the line lord have mercy sometimes they won't just static in the line amen but if you won't careful sometimes the lines would cross and you would hear somebody else's conversation on your phone y'all ain't saying nothing in here because i'm gonna preach in five minutes and be done somebody shall glory Lord have mercy. So what would happen then with all of this interference? And then if you stayed on the phone too long and somebody tried to call through, they didn't have call waiting. They didn't have messaging service. Y'all ain't sending here. But if you stayed on the phone and they had a message to get through, they called the operator. And the operator came on the line to interrupt your call to let you know you got somebody that's trying to y'all on some of y'all too young y'all looking at me crazy you had to get the operator to break the line so that they could get the message through so that you would hang up so your grandma can call your mama and talk about sister slewfoot y'all are gonna say nothing in here oh 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 Good God Almighty, every now and then you had a bad connection. I had to deal with this for a minute because the church has evolved technology wise, but we still got bad connections. We connected to folk we shouldn't, we connected under folk we shouldn't. Every covering ain't a good connection. Y'all ain't gonna say nothing in here. I ain't scared of no devil. Yeah, 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 yeah. Watch these boogers because they're shouting here today. But they'll stab you in the back tomorrow. They'll smile in your face and step on your neck. The devil's a liar and he's using anything and everything he can to destroy your credibility. Try to destroy your character. But you can do all of that. But one thing you can't take, one thing you can't destroy, and that's my anointing. Somebody say yes, I'm so glad that I'm anointed to deal with whatever I got to deal with. I'm from the old school, I'm like a time mix. I learned to take a licking, but keep on ticking, because greater is he that's in me. Well, well, everything now, watch this, is wireless. All right, all right. Which means it makes it easier for the devil to show out. Uh -huh. Why do you say that, Apostle? Because, because things are wireless, they now operate on frequency, not on connection. Oh, yeah. This mic, all the mics, you know, we used to have mics in the church. They had bad connection, just like, just like the phones. Come on here. You had to shake the mic. You've been to church. I've been had to preach in some church. They had to ball the mic cord up and tape it around here to hold it a certain way. 
Y'all don't know nothing about that. Come on here. Come on, somebody. See, technology is increased. We got keyboards now. When I came up in the church, we had old upright pianos. And I would play the piano and only three keys worked. Come on, somebody. And the pastor said, you sure made that piano, that piano sound like something. Because we already know it ain't got but three keys working on it. But you banged on that thing till it sounded like something. Come on, somebody. See what that was? You got to have. And see, folk don't have that stick to itness today. Because you got to have that anointing that know how to operate in any situation. If you ain't got the latest keyboard, they can't play it. If you ain't got a new organ, they can't play it. If you ain't got a cage, they can't play it at all. Y'all are going to help me in here. But we beat on pots and pads. We stomped our feet on the floor. We clapped our hands. When the musician didn't show up, it's all right. Because mother was in the corner with the bass drum, with the stick, with the rag tied on the end of it. And she would beat that drum. We would clap our hands. We would open our mouth. We done forgotten now that we are instruments of praise and worship unto God. You waiting for a stimulator, but you ought to have an activator. Say it. The Bible said Jesus passed by. See, stuff happens when Jesus passed by. Y'all waiting for some man to walk past. That's why I like this house, because the leaders praise. I don't go nowhere where the leaders don't praise. Because when you find leaders that don't praise, it's because they want to be praised. Uh-huh, come on here. So I sit and watch, come on here. I ain't had to worry about tonight, come on here. But someplace I go have to sit and watch. Because folks act like they God. They God's special servant. Watch these special servants. Because they got special plans. Or special activities. Y'all ain't saying nothing in here. See, they got me tonight, I got to be good. Because they got me on their life. My life is private. Come on, say amen. But it's all right. It's going to help me preach tonight. Come on here. I'm going to be good, boy. Come on, somebody. Say, be good, apostle. I preach good. Y'all ain't going to. Uh. So we understand frequency uh, because you got to understand something. The Holy Ghost operates by frequency uh, because they, in order for frequency to have clarity, you got to be on the right channel. Y'all ain't gonna help me in here. Perhaps y'all don't know nothing about the sound ministry of the church, but maybe you ought to take a visit and say, show me how it works. Because in the sound ministry, you see the mic up here with no cord, but you have no knowledge of how it's able to work although it's not connected to anything ah, this is how God is uh -huh. this is uh, the microphone but in order uh, for the mic to work it has to have a receiver come on somebody amen which is a box back there amen that this channels through when placed on the right frequency well the, the people were in the upper room for 10 days what were they doing trying to get on the right channel so that they could get on God's frequency they had never experienced nothing like this before so now that is new to them they had to go and wait until they got with one accord on the come on here all they knew was connectors so they had to get with one accord in order for the frequency to flow when they got with one accord the Holy Ghost came and they couldn't see him when he came y'all are gonna help me in here but he said it's cold and tongues of fire upon their head I'm so glad I'm so glad uh, that I got the Holy Ghost and I got him for real y'all ain't saying nothing in here Lord, 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 in order for this to work, 
the receiver got to be on and it got to be connected to the power source and to the system it got to be connected to God y'all ain't helping me in here and the frequency has to be on the right channel so when it is this mic will work you can't see y'all ain't gonna help me in here how it's connected but you know it's connected because it's working we all ain't saying nothing in here be careful now um, because of this technology the devil think he got you why is that apostle the bible said that satan is the prince of the power of the air so he's trying to break up your atmosphere so that you can lose frequency and in other all lose connection but i come to tell the devil or without it with or with i still have a frequency that's connected to god the bible said when jesus walked by he encountered a man that was blind from his birth the bible talks about another man that wasn't born blind uh, then when Jesus laid hands, he said, how do you see? And he said, I see men as trees, and they look like they're walking. Jesus slapped them again, said, now look up. How do you see? He said, I see clearly. That let me know that man had seen before. He knew what a tree looked like. He knew what ugly looked like. He knew what skinny looked like. He knew what fat looked like. He knew what a rose looked like. He knew what a bush looked like. He knew what a tree looked like. Y'all ain't saying nothing. But this man had never seen before. Sometimes I like being in a blind situation. Cause I don't know where it came from. Only thing I can see when I get sight now is where I'm going. God needs to put a blinder so you stop looking back. Stop looking behind you. Sister Lot Spirit. You keep wanting to look back. Y'all are gonna help me. Where I'm going to is not where I'm coming from. It's what's before me. I'm forgetting those things which are behind. I'm pressing forth to those things that are before me. Somebody say yes. He was blind from birth. Now, the disciples asked the question, who did sin? woman of God that this man was born blind so I got to deal with this a minute because when they asked that question it sounds stupid to us but it was right on time for Jesus and the reason they asked who did sin because they was hinting on the fact that come on here there was a life before this one uh, that something happened in to cause this man to come into this life blind if he hadn't done nothing in the last life perhaps his parents had sinned or done something to cause him to be born into this life blind ah, you don't believe you had a life before this one you was in God y'all are going to talk back to me this is the reason why Jeremiah said oh come on here oh, God told Jeremiah he said before I formed you in your mother's womb I already knew you that means if he already knew me I was already in existence before I came out my mother's womb so that's not my birthday on January 25th that's just my arrival date because I was already existing in the bosom of God I was already in God's mind I was already in God's plan book I was already on God's calendar and God is eternal he cannot be confined by time y'all ain't saying nothing we live in time God's in eternity yeah 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 so God can't be confined by your time God if you don't move by five o'clock they're gonna turn my lights off he'll let six o'clock come and still have your lights on because he's not in time he's in eternity God can't be confined or controlled by time God 
is the timer the time the time and his time god didn't just get here but he been here before been here got here and when been here leave here god will still be here i can't give no love somebody say yes the bible the bible the bible said jesus told them that it's not that nobody sin but the reason why he is blind is because god wants to work a miracle it is miracle monday ain't it i need somebody that need a miracle on this here monday y'all ain't saying nothing here i'm not just here to jump and shout i'm not just here to sing my song but i'm here because i need a miracle and sometimes before god give you a miracle he'll make a mess because you'll never have a miracle if he ain't got nothing to work one out of so he'll make a mess to work a miracle out of to turn your mess into a miracle turn your trouble into triumph turn your storm into a song turn your pain into a praise say ah! Oh. Jesus said not him or his parents sin but he blind so that the father may be made manifest he blind not for an experimentation but he's blind for a manifestation Some of you wonder why you came like you came to Monday night, Miracle Monday night. It's only because God had to let you come to Miracle Monday night uh -huh, without what you was praying for. So that when you get to Miracle Monday and God do it for you, you know that nobody could do it but God. Y'all ain't saying nothing in here. You worried about what they're going to give you downtown. Baby, you can't rely on the government for a miracle. Y'all ain't saying nothing. They'll give you emergency food stamps, but they can't feed your soul. Y'all ain't gonna help me in here. Ay, 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 ay. Watch it now, because we got a lot of complainers in the church. We get mad when things don't go our way. Uh, we got a sour face. Y'all ain't saying nothing in here. Look like we're chewing tax and sucking on lemons. Like we got an attitude with everybody around us. We mad at God. We mad at the devil. We mad at everybody but our own self. You did it, but you want to blame it on me. You messed up, but you want to blame it on God. I need somebody to take responsibility of your own actions and say in your mind, I messed up, but Lord, if you let me get up, I'll wash up, I'll stand up, I'll come out, I'll be delivered, I'll take keep pulling you out of the same stuff because you keep getting deeper in and the father i go down to pull you out and i slip myself somebody say yes stop trying to help folk that ain't trying to help themselves y'all ain't gonna help me in here i can't feel sorry when you ain't doing nothing yourself i can't feel sorry when you ain't trying to get a job i can't feel sorry So that the power of God may be made manifest. So Jesus said, I must work the works of him that sent me while it's day. Because when night comes, night symbolizes death. When night come, no man can work. Because he dead. Oh, they're helping me in here. Physically dead. But God trying to kill some of us in another way. If you die now, if you die now, you won't have to die no more. I preach Friday night. I think somebody trying to kill me. Somebody trying to kill me, and I think it's God. 
He trying to kill you from your will, your ego, your desire, your plan, your... We become so egotistical, so puritanical, esoterical, holier than thou. Oh, hello in here, somebody. But he said, I got to work the works of him that sent me. Why this day? Night gonna come. The cross gonna come. I ain't gonna be able to do this. He said, bring them to me. And Jesus did something unethical. So I like John. John was his homeboy. He was the beloved. Yes, sir. Matthew was the tax collector. He looking at the fiscal report. Come on here. Luke was a doctor. He looking at the medical report. John just a plain old man. He just looking at the earth. I said, whatever you do, God is fine. And because John dealt with the earth, look, Jesus said, bring him to me. The Bible said Jesus spat on the ground. He hocked up something now to make enough mud, to make enough spit and water to make mud. See, that's why I like John. John just told it like it was. He said, Jesus the spat. Watch the other blind man. Jesus spat on him. Jesus spat on his finger and put it on the dumb man's tongue. Jesus had a spit ministry. So if y'all want to sing that praise and worship song, y'all don't sing no more. I got a river of life flowing out of me. Jesus let it flow. But when I look at John's gospel, John dealt with the natural things in Jesus' ministry. Jesus spat, but John dealt with the water even leading up to his spit. You don't believe me? Search the scriptures because in the first chapter, Jesus was baptized in the Jordan by John. In the second chapter, he tells them at the wedding of Cana to fill the pots up with water. Y'all are going to help me in here. In the third chapter, he tells Nicodemus, you got to be born of the water and of the spirit. In the fourth chapter, he meet the woman at the well and say, this water I give you, you'll never thirst again. In the fifth chapter, the man laid in the pool of Bethesda, waiting for the moving of the water. But Jesus said, get up. In the sixth chapter, Jesus came walking on the water. In the seventh chapter, Jesus said, if any man thirsts, let him come after me. But in the eighth chapter, he turned the water off. When the woman was caught in adultery, Jesus stood down on the ground and took his finger and began to write on the ground. So Jesus took the water from the first seven chapters. He spat on the dirt in the eighth chapter and made mud in the ninth chapter. Rubbed it on the blind man's eyes and said, go wash in the pool of Siloam and come back seeing. Somebody say yes. Sometimes God will put you through the test of your faith. Come get this. I can't see. He'll put you through the test of your faith to make you understand that it's not by might nor by power but it's by my spirit and whatever God ordains he will maintain he will sustain he'll keep it until the day of Jesus Christ I, 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 I see the blind man and I see him going to the pool he's blind so we need help lead him to the pool you got to be careful that you don't get the wrong help you got to have the right connection you got to have the right people I'd rather have one good one that's with me that's for me than ten that's against me y'all 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 ain't gonna say nothing we want to judge church by how many numbers how many people God told me it ain't how many it's how much we was having church in the fellowship hall 
of a church in Daniel and looked out four or five people struggling I'm driving two and a half hours to get to the church when some town folk didn't even show up but God said hang on in there because there's about to be a turnaround year almost went by God want to judge your faithfulness if you be faithful over a few things you'll make a ruler over many say yes I, I, I. good God almighty my, apost- my apostle came to preach during my birthday celebration he said son did God call you here I said yes sir he said well God's gonna move for you right here that was the end of January 2020 the middle of February I had the keys to our own building moved in March in three months I grew the church had to move again five months later after moving in there we moved in the church we in now we moved in already I've grown that church and I declare it every time I get up we get ready now to buy another church God just gave us land to build our headquarters and we get ready to plant another church I know the devil he don't like it he mad and want to raise up his head every time he get a chance but you got to tell the devil bring it on I need somebody that got the Holy Ghost they're not afraid of the devil to put your hand on your hip let your backbone slip tell the devil I shall not be moved like a tree planted by the water I'm going if I got to go by myself if God if God before us who can be against us shout out look at your neighbor and say neighbor I don't know what you're waiting for you ain't got to wait for the response of the situation because God gave you a praise on the inside and your praise will speed up your process your praise will turn your pain into joy I'm a firm believer the word of God declare they that sow in tears shall reap in joy we made it to the pool by this time the mud done dried up it's crusty but it don't mean nothing because he blind in the hand but Jesus took what he came from which was the dirt spit on what he came from rubbed it on what he was blind and said go wash to become what you need to be God will allow you to go through the process don't despise the process don't give up in the process your process is your progress and it's gonna bring you your promotion it's gonna bring you new power it's gonna bring you an anointing it's gonna bring you out of the pit it's gonna bring you out of the storm If you call on Jesus, he will answer prayer. He washed. He washed. And began to see. Watch this because he was blind trying to get to the pool. It didn't say nobody assisted him. Folk like to see you in a blind state. Because they feel like if you can't see the goal, you, they'll get to it before you will. 
Oh, the devil's a liar. Let me help you because Lord, you have to watch folk. Uh, I never forget when I went to pastor years ago. Woman of God, uh, Bishop Mary P. Bonner uh, from Petersburg. She came to me and she preached for me. She said, son, let me tell you, mom and dad had your back. She said, but let me tell you, now these coons, you got to watch me. She taught me something important. She said, the ones you do the most for, they'll hurt you the most. She said, baby, you got to learn how to pray with one eye open. You got to watch and pray. Y'all are helping me in here. Because see the ones ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that will put their feet under your table. Come on, somebody. They will eat your food. They will burn out your gas. They will take all the money out of your pocket. Watch folk act like they broke. They a lot one. Baby, they got stuff hidden like weapons of mass destruction. Money in their sock. Money in their breast. Y'all ain't saying nothing here. Money under their wigs. Y'all ain't gonna talk about here. Y'all better watch out now. Because the devil is sly. The devil is cunning. He hiding in all kinds of places. Places you don't think to look. Y'all ain't gonna help me in here. Oh, Lord. Had a woman tell me. She said, the money right here. Come and get it. I'm talking about for be saved. She said, it's right here. Now come and get it. Good God Almighty. I told her, baby, I'm not going in there. Because you won't go in there. And if you won't go in there, I still ain't going in there. Because it's a trap set. And I ain't talking about just sex. But I'm talking about it might stink. Y'all ain't gonna help me in here. And I ain't putting my hands in nobody's mess. When God done brought me out, you need to learn how to stay out. Y'all, I'm sorry. That's how I preach. Well, come up, come out. Y'all ain't saying nothing in here. Watch the devil. He got a trap set. Try to destroy your ministry. Try to destroy your name. Try to destroy your character. But I told the devil before I take it back, I'll add more to it. God's been faithful. God's been kind. God's been good. God's been merciful. I know if he brought me out, I got sense enough to know not to go back like a dog returning to his vomit say listen Watch this. The devil does not like to see you obey God. He don't want you to obey God. And let me let me let me let me deal with this because let me deal with this because a lot of preachers talking to preachers now. A lot of preachers will connect with folk for validation. And I always wondered why these no good jokers always wanted to connect with some people that was credible. And I found out, Apostle, that the reason why they want to connect with credible people because their name jacked up. So if they can get validation from somebody that's got a good name, it'll make them feel validated that they are all right themselves. Y'all ain't saying nothing in here. The days are over for preachers sitting in the office the whole service. Talking about how much money they raised in the last revival. I'm just going to pour the cement and let you spread it out. Come on here. I'm tired of hearing them talk about how, how they preached to turn the house up. Oh, they start shouting and they wouldn't stop. 12 o'clock came, 1 o'clock came, they were still shouting. Nobody got saved, delivered, or healed. Because just as soon as the service is over, half the day ain't going by before they calling you crying and complaining about all this stuff that's going on in there. 
Well, the same joy you had last night, you ought to have it in your tribe. That's why James had counted all joy when you fall into. He said, count it all joy when you fall. That means he gave you joy before the trial. So when the trial came, you was able to dance through it and not even feel the effects of the trial because he already gave you joy before you went into the trial. That's why folks trying to size your praise up and wonder why you praise them like you do. Because baby, you don't know the pain that I'm in right now. But I'm going to praise them until the pain lifts. Because the more I praise them, the better I feel. The more I praise them, the light of the Lord gets. The more I praise them, the more I can see the light of day. The more I praise them, the more the mud fall off. The more I praise them, the closer I get to the pool. And when I get to the pool, don't bother with me. Because it's between me and God. I got to watch so I can see you for who you really are. Now I can see clearly that everybody that was walking with me was really for me. You didn't want my eyes open, but now that my eyes are open, so is my spirit. You trying to deceive, but I'm able to discern. y'all pastor something let me just throw this for free stop letting everybody come preach for you I tell my church all the time I say I know I preach a lot and I go, but I don't let everybody come preach in my church people got agenda come on here come on somebody and I told them I said any voice other than your voice is divorce any vision other than your vision is division. That's what I was teaching them pastors in Saturday in Hampton. Come on here. I said, see, folk don't want to tell the truth. We did a re-strategy, re realignment for ministry. I said, sometimes you got to go back and revisit the, the vision. Because even on the job, once you complete an assignment, your boss give you something else to do. But we done grabbed an assignment which was seasonal and made that seasonal assignment a lifetime. It was never supposed to be a lifetime job. Uh, yeah. I'm trying to help somebody tonight. So because you won't shift, God has shifted. You won't go forward till he'll make all the people go backward. Y'all ain't saying nothing in here. Boy, get quiet now. I'm preaching now. Hello in here, somebody. I see people, the reason why I went back home to talk to a lot of those pastors, and my mom included, and all the pastors in the area, because that's where I came from. They laid the foundation for my life. And I'll be a fool to see them struggle and go through and don't do nothing to help. I don't went and ran revival for them. That wasn't good enough. God said, now go and teach them. That's the good part. That's the part don't nobody want. Come on here. The fivefold ministry, the apostle. Why is the thumb the apostle? Because he can touch every area of the ministry. Come on here. Then you have the prophet, which was the forefinger, because the prophet foretells longest finger come on here's the evangelist because they go out the ring finger is the pastor because the pastor the pastor is married to the church but the smallest finger is what we got less of and need more of and that's the teacher nobody want to teach it nobody want to be taught because you think you know everything be careful if folk always want to tell the pastor what to do well, baby, if the Lord's speaking to you so much, maybe he should have called you to be the pastor and not me. You can have it gladly here. Because some of you think the pastor is just the mic. It's more than just a mic. It's more than a Bible and a notebook. It's more than a briefcase. It's more than a cup of juice. Y'all are going to help me in here. But being a pastor... 
is a jaw. They said, you show that. Pastoring is a jaw. Lay down to have a nap and God start dealing with me about some folk that's not even in this in, in, in our area or even in our church. Some folk that were back home in another church and another leader. God start dealing with me my dream. Come on here. And I got up and start searching to make sure they all right. Come on here. Because different ones in the was coming to me in the dream. I don't know what was getting ready to happen, but God warns you to let you know something is on the brink of happening. Oh, y'all don't hear me what I'm saying. Thank you, Lord, for the reminder so I can go call the pastor to see what's going on because God wouldn't have dropped all of them in my spirit if something wasn't happening. Look at your neighbor tonight and say, neighbor, be careful what you get connected to. Because you might get hung by that connection. That's why they got rid of all them corded mics in the church and gave us corded because we got tired of tripping on the cord. Once I have been cut from the umbilical cord, God intended for me to be able to walk in freedom and liberty. The reason why I was connected to my mother because she was nurturing me. But after her job was done and I came forth, they had to cut the cord. Isn't it amazing that even after they cut the cord, your mother still had to nurture you and take care of you, but she had to nurture and take care of you from another place. You once was on the inside, but now that you got to the outside, you understand that you have an assignment on the outside that you couldn't complete on the inside. But let me drop this at the bomb. You better get all you need to get while you're on the inside. So when you go on the outside, you don't get killed. Hang up and call me back. I got a bad connection. They looked at the blind man. Isn't that the one that was begging? Somebody said, well, if he bears a strong resemblance to him. The man heard them talking about them. He said, I am he. I want you to know that in this next season, you're going to be able to testify that yes, that was me that went through hell the last season, but now I made it to my place of assignment and purpose, and I was able to wash all of that old stuff off. Now I'm able to stand with those that I was hiding from and stand in their face and say, I ain't hiding no more. I am He. I'm he which was, I'm like the Lord tonight. I'm he which was and is and on my way to become all that he want me to be. And find your neighbor on the other side of the church and say, neighbor, get on up from there. Could the devil been holding you back? Oh Lord, a little too long. But you've been anointed to come out. You've been anointed to come forth. You've been anointed to cut loose. And God wouldn't cut you loose if he wasn't qualified in you to stand on your own two feet and open your mouth and declare, I am he. I am the righteousness of God. I am the head and not the tail. I am above only and not beneath. I am strong and not weak. And now, let the weak say, I'm strong. Let the poor say, I'm rich. Let the depressed say, I got it made. But the Lord has delivered me. Greater is he in me than he in the world. Shout out! Clap your hands. Tell the devil you a liar, booger. I'm coming out. You done messed up. But I done made it to the pool. I 
I done made it to my purpose. I done made it to my season. I done made it to my assignment. I'm not drawing back, but I'm pressing in. I'm not turning around, but I'm going through. He's anointed me, and I'm going to stand. He scripted me, and I'm going to fight. He gave me power. He gave me joy. I got to go. I got to run. I got to fight. I'm going to stand. Shout out. Oh, 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 oh. When he came back, came back with vigor. Came back with a skip. Came back with a song. Came back with a testimony. Came back with an anointing. Came back with some glory. Shout yes. I know you won't expect it. Me to live. You won't expect it. Me to make it. You won't expect it. Me to come out. But here I is. Here I is. I made it again. I made it again. Throw me overboard. I got a hiding place. Yes. 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 Those hands and shall glory. Come on and shout hallelujah. Come on, shout hallelujah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Tell your neighbor it's a good place to praise him. It's a good place to praise him. I done got hooked up with the right connection. I done connected up. Grandma said. I done necked it up with the right connection. Y'all ain't saying other. I'm connected to the true vibe. I'm connected to the true vibe. My father is the husband man. I'm connected to the word of God. Though he slay me, yet will I trust him. I learned how, even in despair, even in trouble, I got to trust him. Understand, say yes, we've been made in do for night, but joy, 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 come in the morning, it's my morning, it's my graduation, it's my elevation, it is my time, it is my turn, say yeah. Everything going down by the word of God. I said everything going down. I said something Friday night. I hate church. Church is organized crime. When you have embarked upon the kingdom, you can have the church. Jesus said, Behold, I give unto you the keys to the kingdom. He ain't saying about no keys to the church. That whatever I buy on earth, he'll co-sign it by binding it in heaven. Whatever I lose. See, some of you don't have because you don't have the, the uh, knowledge of the authority to control your situation. I ain't got the big bar and steel. I command the earth to bring forth. I command the atmosphere to produce. I command the universe to give back. Hello, somebody. Oh, call me a spiritualist, all kind. I don't care what you call me. It works. See, we tired of going to church, hearing about stuff that don't work. 
told the pastors on Saturday, your presentation is everything. I don't care where you at, your presentation is everything. Thank God for I saw you on Facebook going to help other churches set up the scenery background. With a, come on, somebody. See, what the problem folk have is they don't know how to use what they got. My first church, 908 East Orr Street in Anderson, South Carolina, was a tin warehouse with studs going around the wall. No heat, no AC. The windows had, uh, they put some uh, 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 net over where the one, and it had boards that covered the window. Come on, somebody. And when the Lord sent me to Anderson, and he showed me that building, he said, that's why I want you to start having church at. I went to the man that owned the building. Then he told me, he said, the building, he said, it's $250 a month. Let me show you inside before you make a decision. I told him, I don't need to see inside. God told me that was the place. Went in that building. He opened the door. I was smiling on the outside. I was about to cry on the inside. I said, you serious, Lord? The day he told me to go up and tell the man I want, it was a hailstorm, Sister Karen. Ice was falling outside, not rain, ice. God said, get up and go tell the man you want the building. First of all, you could wait till the sun come out if you're going to set me up like this, Jesus. But I obeyed God. When I went in the building, I looked around. And the Lord said, this building is a diamond in the rough. I made a banner going across the front of the church and it said, this building is a diamond in the rough. My wife at the time, her uncle came in and pressure washed the floor, mud, this thick rolled up off the floor the first time he washed it. He pressure washed it again. I start seeing the grain in the wood. The building set up off the ground. You could see through the cracks in the wood and see the ground underneath the building. I said, okay, God, what you want me to do? I said, it's not even receptacles in here. It's only electric on one side. And I went home and took a nap. The Lord said, go to the hardware store. He told me what to buy. I ran the electricity in the whole building myself. I put the walls in myself. Y'all don't hear me what I'm saying. And I said, God, if this is what you want, this is what you get. Come on here. And I put the word out. God sent me here. Come on, somebody. Somebody came and gave me some pews. Another woman of God came, drove up with a truck full of chairs and its sound equipment. Come on, somebody. I looked over on the wall. There was a little table up against the wall on the side of the building. And when I pulled it to the side, it had paneling in the front, had marble on the top. When I pulled it, it had a shelf behind it. I picked it up, brought it up front. I said, well, we ain't even got a pulpit. It was some, 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 some thing about this high and about this size that was on the wall they had steel on it was an old uh, a pressing plant amen and it was a lot of platforms like this it was about six of them and when i took them and put them together across the front of the church they fit from one side to the other side of the church i said well they're going to the podium the, the, the pulpit and i took that 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 table on the side and set it up there i said they're the podium y'all don't hear me what i'm saying i'm talking about using what you got y'all ain't saying nothing in here good god almighty amen and before i know it i had called a revival hallelujah my wife's uncle came in he said well i see the work you got to do in here he said when you planning on having church in probably another three months i said next week we got a crusade y'all don't hear me what i'm saying they brought a bus from virginia amen my apostle at the time was in macon georgia they brought some car loads of folk amen we had church up in that place amen wednesday through friday sunday morning i preached everybody was gone five people joined the church y'all are gonna talk back to me here i said god if you send me here you're gonna provide for me here god took us from that building i preached a new year's eve service with no heat in the building i preached till i sweat they said pastor look like halo coming out of your head y'all are gonna hear it was freezing cold but i kept on preaching you got to god wants to see your faithfulness 
some of you worried about your anointing. Baby, your anointing don't mean nothing if you ain't got faithfulness. Because when he gets to the end, he going to say, well done, thy good and not anointed, but faithful. Everybody faithful ain't anointed. Well, everybody anointed ain't faithful. Let me put that. But if you be faithful, he'll give you the anointing. God took us from that building. He blessed me with a big home. In the basement of my home, we could see 75 people. I had church in my basement. God opened up a door downtown in Greenville, South Carolina. A church that seat almost 800 people. God put us in that church and we didn't have to pay a dime. Had a full gymnasium, three story building in between the gymnasium. 22 ministries was going on in that one building. The people on that street got mad. They raised a half a million dollars to buy the church from under us. And the week after they bought it, all of their houses got broken into. But God will sustain you. I completed that assignment. Some of us start and stop. Start and stop. When I moved to Atlanta, I never seen so many relaunches in all my life. Every two months, somebody relaunched. And let me know they really never launched. Because except the Lord build the house. Things are about to take a turn for you. You can receive it, that's true. My mind went back. Of this I recall to my mind. Therefore I have hope. It's because of his mercy. He not of a koshia. That we're not consumed. Great is his faithfulness. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. The Lord told me to tell you put your ear to his mouth. Don't listen to people, listen to God. Obey God. Follow God's voice and his instruction. Because God want to take you somewhere. And he want to do some things for you. Because some others, God has released his hand from. But God told me to tell you, he still got his hand on you. Hallelujah. And God said, if you stick to the plan, I'm going to do it for you. You can't have a call sign. Yeah, that may call. Listen. I'm going to say something to you because even when you asked me to come, I didn't say much. I listened to God and then I responded accordingly. God said, go. Go. God said, go and encourage him. God said, go speak into his life. Because millions didn't make it, but you're going to make it. And let me tell you something, because some people in certain sects and groups of uh, uh, sabotage and manipulation was calling me to come preach. But I declined them all. Because the Lord let me know they had a bet going. Trying to see between themselves who could get Whitlow to come preach for them. <laughs> and the Lord says, shame all of them. 
and just tell them no. And it was right about the time when you hit me up and God said, but Von Trail, come on. He ain't give no title, but he called him by his name. He said, go and impart into his spirit. Because if he'll follow the plan, if he'll follow the plan, God said he'll make your name great. Father, I speak into his life, health, wealth, and prosperity in the name of Jesus. And I combat every spirit that come against him. I take authority over them. And I bind them up in the name of Jesus. And we give you glory now. Hallelujah. Don't hang with everybody. Keep your name good. Keep your name clean. Because if you obey God, God's going to bless you. And not too many days hence from now, you're going to see the hand of God move. And things are going to lift. Ah. Listen. Thank God for your life. You traveled with my daddy, was your daddy, the late Prophet Knox. I met him when I was 16 years old, playing for him under a tent in Newport News, Virginia. He was sleeping in the back of a tractor trailer bed, taking a bath with some ladies' water hose. But he preached under that tent. I was 16 and I went to preach. God called me to preach. I preached my initial sermon. He came and he gave me my first three robes. He put a diamond ring on my finger and a pair of custom eel skin shoes on my feet. And he called me his son. And that was mm, some years ago. 30 some years ago. Come on, say amen. He's gone, but you traveled this country with him. A lot of times they weren't favorable. A lot of times you got talked about. A lot of times you went away broken hearted. Come on here. A lot of times you didn't even get what you deserved. Glory be to God. Not even from the man of God. Hallelujah. But God said, I've seen all of that. And God said, and I was counting up the cost the whole time. And God said, guess what? Payday is coming. Oh, shot. You got that on the Oh, shot. Ha! Whoa! I just felt something go all through me. Oh. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I don't know who you are right there in the red shirt. Come here. Just come stand here for a second because I saw rivers of living water flowing all up and out through you. Your hands are anointed. So is your voice. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for the anointing on this life. Now God, release 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 fresh wind of your power your glory in the name of jesus somebody open your mouth and begin to praise him in here oh oh come on oh 
Glory be to God. And your eyes are being sharpened to see even through the piercing of men's hearts. There's something in your hands. I just keep hearing, there's something about your hands. There's something in your hands. There's a fire in your hands. Glory be to God. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus for this anointing. In the name of Jesus. Much has been given to your hands to do. Obey God. Watch God. God's going to move for you. Somebody tell God thank you. Just reach up and do that. Because when I looked over there, money was flying all over you. Everything you need is in your reach now. Oh, Shabbat. It's in your reach. It is so. Wait. I heard the Lord say expansion. And I don't know what that means. But God said expansion. He was going to expand your territory and your reach. Something about some people waiting for the sound of your voice. But there's expansion coming. Somebody tell God thank you in this place. Somebody clap your hands and tell them. Glory to God. Come on, clap those hands again and tell him thank you. Listen. Is there anybody in here sick tonight? Somebody in here, something going on in your body because I feel it. God put an anointing in my hand. Come on now. You one of them, come here baby. I don't know who you've been carrying or what you've been carrying. But God's going to take that load up off your shoulder tonight. He's going to free your spirit. In the name of Jesus, lift your hands up like you had them lifted back there. In the, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. this shit I don't know if you believe in miracles but I believe in miracles God been giving us miracles for the past few months we just been experiencing miracles 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 if I turn this mic loose and let these folk testify we'll be here all night but God just keep giving miracles 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 Miracles, 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 miracles. And I heard the Lord said those were just the baby miracles, but the big miracle is on the way. Somebody ought to get excited on that because you've been waiting for something more. But you've been settling for something less. But look at somebody and say, I ain't settling no more. I ain't settling no more. I'm getting everything. Somebody say everything, everything, everything. So, so I went to the bank. If you want money, go to the bank. They got money, don't they? Went to the bank. And I told my banker, we need money to buy this church. 
He said, Pastor, can I be honest with you? He said, let me go check the computer, the notes. He said, because they have banned loans to all churches because of the pandemic. And I said, the reason why is because churches depend on their parishioners to support them. So therefore, he said, even I don't care how much money the church is bringing in, we can't give them a loan. And so I looked at the banker and I said, that's all I needed was information because I didn't come for no money because God's got that. I said, but I came for the information so that I can have the correct, you know, you go through all the different channels. Come on, say amen. I said, so that means what we need, Apostle McNeil, God's going to do it in cash. Because whether you know it or not, you need credit. God don't. But I prophesy tonight, bad credit, good credit, no credit, don't forget it. God can get it. Hey! Look at somebody say, I'm going to get mine. Y'all ain't acting like y'all trying to get nothing. Listen. Then we was in church on yesterday. I was looking around. I said, Lord, all our folk ain't even here. But the church is jam-packed. All these folk in here. And near the end of the service, my niece, stand up, Michaela. Amen. Elder Whitlow's daughter. She came down front and she asked for the mic. She said, she began to prophesy. She began to prophesy. She said, for the last few days, she said, all I've been seeing, we're getting a green, 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 green. She said, on the way to church, she said, I was seeing green. She said, I didn't know what it was. She said, but the Lord told me to tell you that by the end of this year. Woo! Listen, and I just stopped by to say, you ain't got to believe it. I receive it, and it is so. Because God going to seal it in the next three months. And I'm prophesying to somebody right now that you ain't seen your best days yet, but it's getting ready to happen for you. You ought to give God a praise that is already happening. Praise Him like it's already done. Hey. Whoa. you crying over stuff I'm praising through it I ain't got no sad song all I got is joy cuz I know what God's getting ready to do for me somebody shout it yeah you might not have it but it's on the way you ain't got the house but it's on the way You've been looking at the car, but it's on the way. Y'all ain't saying nothing in here. What happened in here? Oh, it's on the way. Whoa. Y'all better praise him like you believe it. Hey, hey, hey. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You ain't got it until you can praise it for it. It's already done. Hey. 
Oh, come on and give him praise in here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Woo. Your heaven is open. If your mouth is open, your heaven is open. Open your mouth. Hey! Oh. Y'all ought to help them praise up in here. Yeah! Yeah, 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 Praise him, Jay. Cause I don't have no doubt in my mind. God don't do it. It's already done. Oh, come on, clap those hands and give God glory. <laughs> clap those hands like you're going crazy. Listen, let me help you. And let me explain clapping. Three, th three things happen when you clap. Number one, you're praising God. You're applauding his wonderful works. But number two, when you clap, you summon angels. And number three, when you clap, you remind that devil that his head is bruised by your heel. You ought to go to clap in your hands. Oh, clap your hands. Oh, clap your hands. Oh, clap your hands. Oh, clap your hands. Clap your hands, all ye people. Shout unto God with the voice of triumph. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Watch yourself. <laughs> hey! Oh, yeah. You better pray it. Oh, no. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, that's my baby back there. And look at my prophet back there. Isaiah, you remember me from yesterday? You better ho! Hey! Listen. I don't know when I just hit him in the back. The Lord just says, speak over the people. Because I release a spirit of entrepreneurship. And I don't know what God's going to use him to do. But there's an anointing on him that's going to attract money. Woo. Yes, sir. My eyes 
on the way, mine's on the way. Mine's on the way. I said, mine's on the way. Mine's on the way. Mine's on the way. Hallelujah. Mine's is on the way. Yours is on the way. I got mine. I believe it by faith. Come on, somebody. Clap those hands in here. Tell God thank you in this house. Come on, we get ready to give tonight. Woo! Hey! Praise him, baby. Hey. 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 Ah, hey, hey, hey. Ooh, Shabba. <laughs> yes, sir. I love it. You can take everything I got, but I'm going to always have another praise. My God. Hey! Woo! Yes, sir. Welcome to the first day of the best days of your life. Just wave your hand and tell God thank you tonight. I could praise you until eternity for what you've already done. But you turned around and promised me so much more. I'll never cease to preach. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. While you in the spirit of excitement, we get ready to give. And I need you, amen, to have that same joy in our giving. We can do this quickly tonight. Amen. And I need a many of you that will get a hundred dollar seed in your hand tonight. Amen. I need at least five of you. That will get a hundred dollar seed tonight. It's Miracle Monday. We want a miracle. You got to give like you already got the miracle. I'm sowing where I'm going and I tell the saints all the time, I don't give because I have, but I have because I give. Hello, somebody. I don't work a secular job. I don't receive a salary from my church. So I live by faith. But I believe God 
is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. I need you to exercise even your faith tonight in your giving. I want you to give like you're dancing. That same joy, that same fervency. Come on, somebody. And I'm not going to be up here all night, but I need you to respond in your giving. And I want you, those of you that have the $100, to get that $100 in your hand. And I want everybody, somebody say everybody, to get a $40 seat offering in your hand tonight. I want you to get it quickly and I want you to get ready so we can give. Somebody say, I ain't got $40, but you get the closest thing you got, $39.99 and a half and three quarters. Come on, stand on your feet as we get ready to give. different ways to give. I don't know. I need to know how much we give it. Dollar sign evolution empowerment. If you can't spell. Just find those letters. <laughs> it's all right. You can laugh. <laughs> Hallelujah. You got to help folk. Come on, make it play. Amen. I want you to stand all over this place with a seat in your hand. Get something in your hand. Look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor, you have an offering. If your neighbor said no, give them some of your offering. So everybody can be in on the blessing tonight. Amen. Come on, stand and just start coming. And famine. I will lie DJ in destruction and famine I will lie ha 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 oh devil you've been defeated Destruction and famine. I will lie. God bless you, Apostle. Amen. Hallelujah. They're still giving. I need somebody to count this money. Elder Brandon. Too kind. <laughs> Y'all just smiling. sitting on their row. When in Rome, do us the Roman smile. Just smile.
listen. I'm laughing at this this destruction in this offering tonight. Now I need y'all to get some money. Don't play with me tonight. <laughs> All that shouting y'all did. It ain't reflecting in this offering tonight. Hello in here, somebody. We need almost $250. Trying to get me where I need to be. Come on here. Amen. Some of y'all get another 20 or something. Do it quickly. Come on. Amen. Not leaving this house in this deficit. Amen. We're going to go ahead and work this thing out tonight. Hello, somebody. I'm not afraid of money because money not afraid of me. I'm not afraid of success because success is my portion. Hello, somebody. You got to know that you have the ability and the power, the Bible said, to get wealth. Because it is he that gives us power to get wealth. Amen. Somebody help me. Come on, y'all. Amen. We need as close to $225 as we can get. Amen. Tonight. $5 here, $10 there. $3. They got swipe. to deliver your own so <laughs> y'all too serious y'all need to learn how to laugh we've so been blessed being here tonight Get y'all to come to Danville. Where everything is possible to him that believe. Hallelujah. We right up there in Danville. Our neighbor, our neighbor, he, he flies a big old rebel flag. He got three big old Rottweilers. And he ride around on a riding lawnmower because he's real big. about it. I don't care if something go down at that church. We get a phone call. He's on it. Come on here. The junior horses. 
one thing about it God will take what looks like your enemy and make them fight for you I don't have no problem with that man up there he he he, he looks out for us and he see me and I just wave at him he said hey pastor You don't never know who God will use to bless you as well as protect you. Come on here. That man got some buses over there on his yard I could use. He got a whole lot of land over there. Come on here. I don't want it. But he got it. Look like in the front part, some of his loved ones buried out there. He can have all of them. God will give us favor with man. Hello, somebody. We thank God tonight. My soul, oh, it is well, it is well. Praise the Lord. Come on, clap your hands tonight. We give God glory. We tell God thank you tonight. Come on, clap those hands one more time. Hallelujah. So it is and so it shall be. Father, blessed in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Won't you stand on your feet as we be ready to receive? Amen. The angel of this house, the man of God, God's mouthpiece for the hour, God's servant. Won't you stand and put your hand together for our overseer, V.E. Johnson, tonight? God's man of the hour. Receive him in the name of Jesus. God bless you. the Lord we thank God for all that has been said and done give the Lord a hand of praise again for the speaker amen praise the Lord did not our come on let's clap our hands again did you enjoy the word of God did not our hearts burn amen as the man of God brought the word by the way amen praise the Lord in the way of announcements as we're getting ready to go please don't forget evolution amen empowerment ministries on Thursday praise the Lord we will be accompanying the general overseer as he preaches in Greensboro North Carolina Amen. We're looking forward, Greensboro, correct? We're looking forward, amen, to going there. Praise God. Please, amen, look on the page. Praise the Lord to get the directions and any, amen, anything else.